Now, the version tab itself, this is really a big part of the software, and it's a, a critical resource to all users of PDM. Now, the versions in PDM have their own tab and their own menu commands. And what version control gives you is really the ability to see the history of a file, um, to, to keep and potentially access old versions of files. And in the pro version of the tool, you can even compare versions in PDM Pro. Now, a version is really every time a file is changed in PDM. In order to change a file in PDM, you have to go through a process called checkout and check-in. So, and checkout and check-in is really the ability to, for you to gain write access to a file, and then check-in is the ability to release your write access to the file. So in order to change a file, you check out, you make your modifications, save as many times as you want, and then when you're finished, you simply check in. Um, let's take a look at that in action. So I'm going to go back to my Explorer interface and then let's go find a file and we'll just do a, a very simple change on this file. All right, so viewing this file, you can see it's got version one of one. So my local version I have is version one. The latest version, which is on the network server that everybody's seeing, is also version one. If I want to modify this file, then I go through the process of, of checkout. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do this. It's, the checkout is found in the right mouse menu. It's found in the shortcut toolbar at the top. And it's also found in the actions menu. So three different places. They all do the same thing. And just a quick note, you can also open it in the application and the in SOLIDWORKS itself will be the ability to check out the file. Right, so when you hit checkout, you are presented with a dialog that allows you to check out the file. It's also going to show you the reference tree. So if it was an assembly, it would show you the part references. It's giving me the ability to check out the drawing as well. So it's actually looking up the tree. So if I'm going to make a modification to this file and I know the modification needs to um, control that file as well, then obviously I'd check both of those out. And when I check the file out, it shows here that I have the file checked out. So I have right access to this file. I can open it in its native application and I can make a change to it. I can also make a change to the properties of the file. So in this example here, I'll just basically change the description. Once I hit save, the PDM system recognizes that the local file has been modified. So the version tab now gives me a dash for my local version, and it shows me that version one is the version that's on the server. Okay. So just to reiterate that, we'll do the same thing to the drawing. We'll make a change. We'll save the change. Now the version tab recognizes that these files have been modified. If we go ahead now and we've finished our modifications, the opposite of what we did, the checkout, is check in. That is found in the same places. So all three different locations that we just saw, we can do the same operation. The check-in presents us with a dialog. Again, we can choose what files we want to check in. Uh, but it also presents us with this comment field down at the bottom. Now, our recommendation here is to uh, use this to add information that may be relevant to the file or may be useful for the next user who's going to take a look at that file. You know, somebody wants to know what happened. When you complete the check-in process, you'll notice the version updates. So now we have version two of the file. If we take a look at the data card, you can see that's basically saved with those changes we've made. But here's where the power of versions come in. So first of all, we made a change to the file. What happened to the old version? Well, really nothing happened to it. It's still stored on the network and it still can be accessed with the, with the right permissions. So if you have permissions to do so, you can say, get me the version one. It'll go get you it. And that version one shows you the file without the modifications. So it shows you the version one of the file. 
So that's that's one really nice thing is you can change files. And this works for any document, by the way. So Office documents as well as CAD files. You can make your modifications to the files not and not have to worry about losing data because all the versions are stored in the database on the servers and they're all accessible given that you have the right permissions. Now, the other nice thing about this is when you are making uh, changes to files and creating new versions, the history of it is also stored in the database. So, for example, if you want accountability, so you want to see who did what and when they did it, you would simply select the file and go to the history. Now you can see what user made the change, what date, what time. And then if you force those comments, they are added into the history dialog. So the version tab really is giving us great information about the, the files themselves. The check-in and check-out process is what you go through in order to create new versions.